Okay, today I want to talk about your pause and practice for Access 4-3. Uh, this is from Chapter 4, third pause and practice that you'll encounter. Uh, I've gone ahead and I have opened up the file that we'll need for this particular project, which is the Placer Hills 4 Access Database uh, from your uh, data, uh, data files out on Moodle uh, from the zipped area and you can go ahead and open that up, grab that particular file and uh, open it up and then go ahead and name it per the convention that we use because I've already uh, done that here. I've already pulled the file down and renamed it here. Uh, in this particular project we're going to uh, create two reports from the Placer Hills Real Estate Database. Uh, we're going to create one of those reports using the report wizard and then we're going to create a second report using the blank report button. All right. All right. So now, if you are ready to begin with me here, I'm on step number four of this particular project, and uh, and I have named the file per our convention, which is my initials NPP A4-4. So we're going to create a report using the report wizard, and so we're going to, uh, with the database open, we're going to click the report wizard button. So we're going to click the create. Uh, tab here and we're going over to the report wizard button under the reports group and open up that report wizard. We're going to select the listings table here so we're going to down arrow on tables and queries and we're going to select the uh, listings table. We're going to take uh, all of the available fields here from the listings table we're going to move them to the selected fields in creating our or building our report. So I'm going to use the move all uh, button here and move all of those fields over at once to the selected fields area and then we're going to deselect some of those fields using the single move button here, move them back into the available fields and move them out of the selected fields for our report. The ones we're going to remove here are, are going to be the construction field. So we're going to hit the construction and then move to the right or to the left and then we're going to select the year built deselect that from the selected fields garage and the data or date listed rather uh, field so let's select the date listed and then move that over as well alright so now that we have those moved back uh, and we have the fields here the selected fields that we want to use for our report and build for it let's click the next button and then here on this screen it's asking us on the next window do you want to add any grouping levels we're going to not add any grouping levels here so we're going to move on to the third window uh, and it's asking us here in this third window what sort order and summary information do you want for detailed records uh, we are now up to um, 4H and we're going to sort on the list price field so let's select the down arrow and select the list price field and uh, it's going to be sorted in ascending order so we don't need to move that. We're not going to change the summary options, we're just going to click next here and move on to the next phase. In this window and in your instructions uh, it tells you to select the tabular layout. Uh, in this particular uh, report wizard there is no tabular layout so uh, I'm going to select uh, block instead and then orientation here is portrait uh, then I'm going to select next and then we're going to call this particular report listings dash report wizard okay and then we're going to uh, preview it afterwards so we want it to open in preview view or print preview view and then we're going to click finish alright and so that should open our report in print preview and it does uh, and for, so from here what we're going to do is we're going to um, use the navigation button here and we're going to uh, take a look at uh, some of the fields in this and then we're going to uh, close the uh, print preview and we're going to then close the report. Okay. And now we're ready to move on to the next phase in step five to create a report using the blank report button. So we're going to click the uh, Create tab again, and then we're going to click the Blank Report button, and that's going to bring up the blank report. It's also going to open up our fields list for us. 
and we're going to open uh, in that fields list we're going to click on the show all tables button and we're going to click the plus sign and expand the listings table here okay so here are all the fields uh, in that particular table uh, we are going to double click the listing price field to add it to the report so the listing uh, list price uh, listing ID rather so let's click on double click the listing ID and that adds the listing ID um, field here to the report itself and now we're going to double click the list price field to add that to the report so let's come down to the list price double click that and when we did that that placed that particular uh, column or field of information just to the right of the listing ID. Now we're going to add square foot, so let's double click that, uh, beds, double click that, baths, uh, address, city, and the garage fields. Okay. Uh, to the report and the report should look similar to figure 4-96 and my particular uh, report uh, does uh, look like that alright so now we are up to uh, step number G, uh, 5G so we're going to close the field list so we're going to click the X here uh, and close the field list and, uh, and now we're up to step 6 we're going to save the report and we're going to save that report uh, under a new name so let's click file save as uh, save object as and save as here and we're going to call that uh, listings blank report button okay and so that's the name it gave uh, we gave it here it's also generated in the reports area under the navigation pane and it's also uh, renamed on the tab here okay so now we're up to step seven we're going to add a title and page numbers to the report so we're going to click on the design tab and we're already there we're going to click the title button under header and footer and it's going to bring up the report title area we're going to accept the default wording of this title and now now we're going to click the page numbers button so we're going to come under here and click page numbers and now we're going to uh, select the page in of M uh, format we're going to put it click the radio button there for page in of M and then we're going to select the bottom of the page for the position for that particular page numbering and we're going to select left in the alignment so it's going to, we're going to align that left here okay and now we're going to click OK and that's going to place that page number at the bottom of the of the report itself now we're going to adjust the width of the report columns so we're going to select a text box here and <clears throat> in the listing ID column and then we're going to place the pointer over the right edge of the text box until it becomes a two arrow sizing pointer and we're going to click and hold or drag that to decrease the width of the text box and so let me uh, bring that pointer over till it turns into a double headed arrow and then I'm going to left click and drag that over to about there and that should be about right alright um, and so now we're going to do the same here for the width of the square foot the beds and the baths column so let's come to the square foot decrease that beds let's do a decrease on that column and then lastly baths let's decrease that column size as well alright so that's uh, what our report looks like right now uh, and then uh, in the next phase of what we're going to do we are up to if you're following along uh, we are up to uh, step number uh, 8D I believe uh, and now we're up to 80 so as needed we're going to increase the width of the address list price and the garage columns so in the address we do need to increase that so let's go ahead and increase that out and increase it a little bit too much I think and it's about right there 
and then the um, list price and the uh, looks like uh, garage so the list price looks like it might be okay and garage uh, looks like that might be okay as well but I'm going to expand it just a little bit okay all right so now that we've completed that we are now up to step nine we're going to save this report so let's right click and save it okay and now we're going to preview the report by selecting the view button and print preview and so this is what the report is going to look like if printed out uh, and so now we are going to click the close print preview by clicking that button we're going to close the report so let's right click and close it and then let's close the database and this completes the project